This is Math 141, Practice Test 1, problem number 6. And uh, this is different than the last couple of problems we've done. This says to factor completely. So I'm actually not, the answer is not the zeros. The answer is the factored form. You know, the, the piece is all, uh, all written out. So let us go ahead and try and factor this thing completely. Uh, so I'm going to go two different ways with this. And one of them is uh, I... I'm just going to try and factor it. So I notice that this isn't a quadratic, but it's in a quadratic form. So like what I mean by that is, uh, yeah, I don't like that color. That's not going to help. Um, this, I have an x squared here, and I have an x to the fourth here. This x to the fourth is x squared squared. In other words, I can think of this as x squared squared minus 13x squared plus 36. So I can factor it like it's a quadratic. So let me think about that. Um, things that multiply to 36, positive 36, add to negative 13 are negative 9 and negative 4. So I could factor this into x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 9. Uh, there's something about me that makes me just need to fix that 4. Thanks for letting me do that. Uh, that didn't fix it. There it is. Um, so what I did was I just factored that into this, and now I can factor the pieces. This, difference of squares, x plus 2 times x minus 2. This is difference of squares as well. Uh, x plus 3 times x minus 3. And there it is, fully factored. So that would be my answer. And so if that uh, works for you, do it that way. And if not, um, what you could do is we could try and just find some zeros and do some synthetic division and, and break it on down, get it uh, down into its component pieces. So I'm going to graph that. So there it is. And if I graph it, oh, I, that wasn't it. There should be an x squared. So no wonder it didn't work. So if it doesn't come up to what you expect it to be, check your equation, make sure it's right. And notice, uh, here it is, it's crossing at negative 3, negative 2, positive 2, positive 3. That's pretty good. I mean, that justifies what we did from last time, at least matches with it. So what I'm going to do then is uh, I'm going to divide this thing out using some th synthetic division. And it looks like my uh, zeros were there. So let me make sure that they actually were. I'm just going to synthetically divide all these out. So this is x to the fourth. So 1x to the fourth, I have 0x cubed. I have negative 13x squared. I have 0x's. I have 36 ones. So multiply. I'm sorry, bring it down. Multiply. Add. Multiply. And then you, then you add. Then you multiply. You add. Then you multiply. Uh, bum, bum, bum. negative 36. So negative 2 goes into it. So notice what we did is we factored out x plus 2. Um, I'll try to put 2 into it. Bring it down. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. Multiply. Add. We factored out a x minus 2 right there. Then we have a 3 and a negative 3. I'll throw the negative 3 into it. Bring it down. Notice that I took the x plus 3 out of it, and then what's left is a uh, x minus 3. Uh, I got the same answer. So this is an in factored form. Notice there were two different ways we could go about it on this problem. If you can't factor it, like if you can't do any factoring, find some zeros and do long division. Use that, I'm sorry, synthetic division. Use that in order to get that form.